My name is Hadley Wesson, and I'm a general surgeon at Johns Hopkins Community Physicians at Howard County General Hospital. The gallbladder is an organ that sits underneath the liver that is the storage facility for bile. When people have a gallbladder attack, they can present with the worst pain of their lives. The pain can be so bad, some people even think they're having a heart attack. Oftentimes, the pain is located on the upper portion of their abdomen, on the right side, but it can radiate to the left, it can radiate to the back. The pain can be crampy, it can also be sharp, it can wax and wane. It's often worse after you eat a fatty meal. Um, and it can be so bad that you have to go to the emergency department for relief. Surgery is indicated usually in two types of scenarios. The first is when you present to the emergency department with this worsening right-sided pain and it is consistent with a diagnosis called acute cholecystitis, inflammation of the gallbladder that needs to be removed at that point. And that's done emergently, usually during that same hospitalization. The second scenario is when you have crampy abdominal pain after a fatty meal and you may have had an ultrasound that shows that you have gallstones, but there's not really that acute inflammation of your gallbladder. So there isn't the urgency that we have to take out your gallbladder immediately. And in that type of situation, we'd recommend taking out your gallbladder um, electively or over the next few weeks. For the surgery, we usually perform it laparoscopically. The goal is to do a safe surgery and to be able to remove your gallbladder so that you'll have relief from this pain. If we do the surgery laparoscopically, usually we make four small incisions. The largest is uh, at the level of the belly button. Um, we insufflate the abdomen with gas, so that allows us to be able to view the gallbladder um, using long instruments, laparoscopic instruments. Uh, and on one of the instruments, there's a video camera. So we perform the surgery looking at a video screen. We identify the gallbladder, and we identify two main structures that are connected to the gallbladder, the duct and the artery, the blood supply. Once we've identified these structures, we disconnect it from the gallbladder, we remove the gallbladder from the liver bed, and we remove it from your abdomen and submit it to pathology. If for any reason we can't see what we need to see safely, for example, if we can't see the gallbladder or if we can't see those two structures, the duct and the artery, we may consider doing the surgery open, meaning that we would make a larger incision just underneath your rib cage um, and proceed to looking directly down at your gallbladder to be able to remove it. If we did this, and it is rare that we have to do this, uh, it would mean a longer recovery in the hospital, but one where we really want to put your safety first and foremost. For a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, meaning that we would laparoscopically remove your gallbladder, oftentimes people can go home the same day as surgery. Once they're home though, it doesn't mean that they're 100% back to normal. It still takes a few days to recover. During that time, people often need some pain medicine um, and slowly but surely every day they feel a little bit better. It usually takes about five days recovery at home and then they return to work slowly. One of the main limitations though is because we did the surgery laparoscopically, we'd still ask our patients to not do any heavy lifting uh, for about four to six weeks following surgery.
After surgery, the body usually figures out how to store the bile within the liver. So if the gallbladder is the storage facility of the bile, and bile helps the body absorb fat from the intestines, the body has to figure out where to store the bile. And over the next few weeks after surgery, the liver actually becomes the storage facility of the bile. So as the body starts to sort that out for the first few weeks following surgery, people may have uh, some loose stools, they may have some oily stools, especially after um, eating a fatty meal. But in the vast majority of patients, that will resolve.